Hi guys, how's it going? So it's this time of year where we have New Year's resolutions. I'm going to show you 10 practical ways you can use VR to put those New Year's resolutions into motion. If it's your first time here to the platform, very nice to meet you. This is VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and VR educational content. And of course, if you're a regular subscriber, always awesome to have you with us and thank you for your continuous support. Today, we're talking about New Year resolutions because of course, it's still the beginning of year 2021. And most commonly, all of us, first of all, we all stuff ourselves during Christmas and the New Year. And then of course, there might be other resolutions that you have. So I'm going to show you 10 best ways to use VR to put those into motion and perhaps give you some insights as to things that perhaps you may not have thought about before. So it is possible that perhaps you may want to use VR to either upgrade on a skill, learn a new skill, or you could even teach a skill to other people. There's an app called which is a little bit like Rosetta Stone in the sense that it's very basic. It's not super advanced, but the moment that you go into VR and you start to learn these crash courses in languages, it's really useful, especially if, for example, in the future, you do plan to travel once things open up again, or if you just want to learn the basics first before you go to something a bit more advanced. For teaching skills, what you could do is use existing platforms, for example, Rec Room or Old Space, which already has quite a large database of followers. For these existing platforms, you can use the existing templates where you can just choose a room on the fly. You don't actually need to learn any coding of any kind. Or if you have a large database of your own already and you just want to send a web link to people so they can click on it and then attend the actual lesson online, then what you could do is you could use another app. Mozilla Hubs would be a great example for you to use for your guests because it doesn't require anyone to really go through a long registration process. You really just have to create a username and then a password and boom, you can go straight inside to attend the event. In fact, if you don't have a VR headset, you can also attend and be immersed within that environment. Just a quick reminder to enable the notification bell so you're part of the notification squad after you subscribe to the channel so you never get to miss another video which I upload quite frequently to the channel. Alternatively, if your New Year's resolution is to meet more people and just make more friends, whether it's for personal reasons or for professional reasons, well, a great business app would be Verbella or Engage where they have a lot of events happening in there and also all space is a great app to go into because they have very, very regular events inside of that too. Another very popular app is VR chat, which basically enables people to be able to express themselves in a much more creative way when it comes to their avatars. If you're a parent, however, you might want your kids to use either an app called Rec Room or Roblox, where it has the younger crowd going in there. The difference between these two apps and other applications is that basically people can interact together by playing games. Or if you're a DJ, you want to learn how to DJ, then you can also alternatively use Tribe XR. Tribe XR have quite a large community of DJs there and also a really great functionality called rooms where people can enter other DJs rooms and just listen if you're not going to DJ with them. However, you can also actually go inside of rooms and DJ on the console with your friends too. So that can be quite fun. Another resolution that you might have this year is to actually try to generate more income. VR travel is definitely something that has spruced up in the last few months and that has become more and more popular with various different businesses that are in the lifestyle and also luxury industries. One great app is called Wonder, which basically enables people to be able to do travel tools together using one of the forms of Google Earth because it's developed by them. Another way to use travel would actually be to use Google Earth itself or Flight Simulator 2020, which was released by Microsoft very recently. And then whilst you have one person in VR, you could then telecast this onto a program, for example, Zoom, and then invite all your database to your Zoom call for them to be able to see the actual tour that you're giving them. Because today's graphics are actually pretty realistic, which will really give them a good overview, especially if your tour guide, let's say, knows or has knowledge about the environment. Another resolution that you might have this year is to quit smoking or perhaps another vice that you want to stop. Social VR, again, we have spoken about this in today's video quite a lot, but it's also going to be able to help you to gain that support from others who perhaps have that need to quit the same thing as you. Allspace and VTime XR are two apps which I feel are the best ones for the adult crowd especially. Whilst Allspace is only available on certain platforms and PC VR, VTime XR actually is available to be able to use on a multitude of different platforms, including mobile devices. Another resolution that you might have this year in 2021 is learn how to relax more because of course we get very stressed out by a lot of the noise that goes on in the world and VR really offers a great place to escape. 
guided meditation VR, where you can go in various different environments and also learn and be guided as you go through your meditation. Or you could learn, for example, Tai Chi with Tai Chi VR and just really slow time as much as possible and just really forget about all your problems whilst you're in VR. Just a quick reminder to enable the notification bell so you're part of the notification squad after you subscribe to the channel so you never get to miss another video which I upload quite frequently to the channel. Another New Year's resolution that you might have this year is simply just to pick up a new hobby. For example, you could learn how to do some pottery or you could do some really cool art using tilt brush which really isn't complicated to learn or you could even do, why not, some graffiti. There's a ton of things you can do including, for example, creating some puzzles or some dominoes which can really be quite fun with Gadgeteer or you could even create some train tracks with some various different worlds which again could be quite fun to do especially between parents and the children. And of course as I mentioned at the beginning of this video it might be that your newest resolution this year is simply either to lose some weight or to be more fit. Some of the favorites include Beat Saber of course with the rendition of multiplayer and also 360 which came out quite a few months ago as well as others for example O-Shape which basically enables you to have to move your entire body and when you put it on hard and expert, believe me, it becomes very tiring very fast. Other favorites include Audio Trip, Odika, Synth Riders, Thread of the Fight, Supernatural, and there are just so many different VR apps that you can use to do this. And by the way, talking about making additional income as a potential New Year's resolution that you might have this year, you could actually teach your own group VR fitness and meditation classes as well. 